so first of all when we started india's uh, presidency the prime minister had said that india's presidency must be inclusive it must be decisive it must be ambitious and it must be action oriented the new delhi leaders declaration has 83 paras in all all 83 paras have 100% consensus across all countries there are eight paras on the geopolitical issue which is entitled planet people peace and prosperity all those eight paras have 100% acceptance all countries have unanimously supported the new delhi leaders declaration this is one declaration without a single footnote and without any chairs summary this is a complete statement with 100% unanimity this demonstrates both the prime ministers and india's great ability to bring all developing countries all emerging markets all developed countries china russia everybody together on the same table and bring consensus secondly this has been the most ambitious presidency in g20s history ever because the number of outcomes it has the both the outcomes and the annex documents are about 112 which is more than more than two and a half times which has ever been achieved before thirdly this presidency if you go through the new delhi leaders declaration it has a huge india narrative it has a huge india footprint whether you look at the deccan high level principles on food security whether you look at the chennai high level principles for blue ocean economy whether you look at the goa road map for tourism whether you look at the gandhi nagar implementation road map for land restoration or jaipur call for enhanced msmes all this are will leave a huge footprint of india in g20 so one of the the key achievements to my mind one is that we've achieved a very major green development pact in today's world of climate action and climate finance every single country has come together to focus on green development pact which has financing which has focus on global greenhouse gas emission by 43% by 2030 which has uh, a doubling provision of adaptive finance by 2025 which has a global biofuel alliance which has a life completely new principles of life for sustainable development which has ending plastic pollution which has reducing disaster risk and a whole lot of other components put together as the green development pact of the leaders of g20 countries for a greener world of tomorrow secondly uh there is a huge focus on accelerating progress on sustainable development goals because the covid had hit a vast segment of our population there is a g20 action plan to accelerate progress on sdgs there is a huge a uh, focus on education health nutrition uh, there's a huge focus on uh, creative industries like culture as a transformation for sdgs and there is a huge focus on inclusive and resilient growth in this entire things some of which uh, most of which with the finance minister has spoken about so i'm not talking but i think one of the biggest achievements of this uh, new delhi leaders declaration is uh, what we've achieved on women led development with a massive focus on women empowerment and gender equality and this focuses on reducing labor force participation gap bridging the gender digital divide uh, there's a huge focus on gender inclusive climate action there's a completely big focus on women's food security nut nutrition and well being and we've created a new working group on empowerment of women which brazil will carry forward this the next key big uh, focus has been on technological transformation and the digital public infrastructure before we started our presidency 
uh, there was a vacuum on the digital world. There was no definition of digital public infrastructure. There was no framework. Both the definition and the framework has been accepted by G20. And for the first time, there is a new financial architecture for digital public infrastructure. There's also a global digital public infrastructure repository. There's a huge uh, new focus for the first time in the world. The G20 leaders have focused on artificial intelligence. They have focused on cyber security. Uh, also, I would say that one of the key aspects of this presidency has been its focus on developing and emerging markets. No document of G20 has had such an immense focus on developing and emerging markets and the voice of the global south as this particular document has. This is a document of the global south. This is a document of the developing countries which came together and spelt out their priorities. And India has been the spokesperson of all the global south and spelt out their priorities in this document. This document also condemns terrorism. It denies terror terrorist groups safe haven and freedom of operation and many other things. But uh, let me assure you that uh, for the plan, for, there are several new initiatives uh, on uh, climate and health. And this has been an inclusive G20. This has been a very uh, a, a G20 where the leaders give a direction to global uh, agendas. And this has been, this has laid the foundation for very bold action. But more than anything else, it has amplified the voice of Global South. It has also demonstrate, demonstrated that India has a huge capacity of bringing the world together and leading the world in developmental and geopolitical issues as well. So thank you very much.